Aaron, no one has been charged in this case, and the owner of the home where the injuries allegedly happened is now in custody on other charges. The Attorney General's office released autopsy results into the death of 11 month old Sean Sylvester, who was injured this weekend at a home in Alexandria. The AG's office confirms that he later died from blunt impact head trauma. Investigators also say that 29 year old Tommy Page, the owner of the home where the injuries happened, has been arrested and charged with 23 counts of possession of child sexual abuse images. We're talking about two separate investigations at this point in time, and both of those investigations are open and ongoing. And so, because they're both open and ongoing, I'm very limited at the information that our office can share. The AG's office says the images display visual representation of an infant male child engaging in sexually explicit conduct. I cannot divulge anything beyond what's uh, charged in the criminal complaints against them, which are 23 counts. A close family friend was in court Friday saying he was there representing Sean's father. Just shock, really. So it all comes down to it is just shock and just can't believe it really happened. Austin Perthel says that Sean's mother and father are separated and had joint custody of him. He's in rough shape. I mean, he, I keep in touch with him, tell him to keep his head up. You know, he, he needs to stay strong for his son. Perthel says that Sean's father is looking for answers and justice. It's just sad to think that somebody could do that to a child, really what it comes down to. It's an open and ongoing investigation, so I'm very limited in the information I can provide, but that's coming from a civilian who has absolutely no connection to the actual investigation done by law enforcement in this case. So uh, whatever any civilian says on camera should be taken with a grain of salt and with the precautions that I just said. Page is being held in $500,000 cash bail. He will be back in court November 30th. Reporting live in Plymouth, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.